G'day friends, it's Vicky Wright, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator Australia. So today we're going to be playing with um, the Perennial Lavender DSP along with um, um, one of the Celebration products which is the Softly Sophisticated. This is a level two, um, when you spend $90 or more. It includes the stamp set as well as, oh, I don't have the um, embossing folder, but there is a lovely soft um, embossing folder that goes with it as well. Okay, so um, this month, Sharon and I are doing um, a creative cards and scrapbooking class. It's the first Sunday of each month and we're concentrating this month, January, is all about the perennial postage um, bundle and the DSP. So I thought I would share an extra um, um, idea, I suppose, each week, um, just so you can get some different ideas. So this is our paper. When I grab my, when I um, get my papers, especially if they do um, six by six, I tend to chop one piece of each into six by six, and I tend to use this piece, that that whole pack or that whole lot, until it's used up. That way, I'm not chopping into bits and pieces of the twelve by twelve sheets. So that's why it's six by six. So that's basically one side of the three pieces. And then flick it over, and then this is the opposite side. Now, I'll be a little bit honest, and I will say that the paper is a little bit loud for me. So I've actually been using the opposite sides. Okay, so that's those there. That one, that one, and this one, and then this is the opposite sides. So I've been playing a lot with, um, see that's too loud for me, so I would go that side. Um, I tend, to, I like this side, and but there's a lot I could do with this side as well. Okay, so be sure to check out your opposite sides because sometimes. As I said, I like them better than um, the other sides. So what we'll do is we'll bring in our kit. And I've got my new glass mat studio in action. I love this thing. And it can be yours. Um, you can earn this when you um, grab your starter kit if you wanted it. For 169, it's just, it's just great. There's so much you can do with it. So what we're doing is we're just going to fold our base card in half, and this is crumb cake. Okay, so this is a very simple, easy card. Then we are going to grab, now I've got a couple of pieces of basic white and I want the smaller piece. And then this is the piece of DSP and we're just going to, we're going to chop this actually. If you know me, I love chopping my DSP into different different um, different ways. So we might just chop this randomly just like that. And then we will stick this to our piece of basic white. Now if you find that your sides are too Actually, you know what? We might go a different way. Now, if you find that your sides are too um, wide, 
chop from the sides, don't chop from the middle. If you chop from the middle, you're going to lose your pattern. Now, you want to keep your pattern correct if you're going to use the same side. But in this instance, I'm thinking, let's go to this side. We might go that way. And then we might go this way. What do you reckon? Oops. Like that. How will that look? Okay, let's try that, eh? Just for something different. Now this mat, don't worry about if you get glue or anything on it because you can just wipe it off with your, there is a chamois that comes with it. Um, let's see if I've got it here, I'll show you. And there is also a silicon tray that comes with it as well. I don't have the tray either. There's the tray. That's it there. It is white. Um, so if you put ink or anything in it, you can wipe it clean, but it will stain. There's spaces here for um, ink spots or... Um, your re inkers if you want to use it. Um, you can um, clean your blending brush on here as well if you wanted to. It's a great little product, actually. Well, it's not a little product, it's a great product. Um, so we're going to do that. Hang on, I was going to. I think we might go that way, just for something a little bit different. Now, I'm sure this isn't the way that I was going to create this card, but... Doesn't matter. So we're just going to leave a little bit of white showing between the two pieces. You could butt them up against each other if you wanted to, but we're going to do that. Then we're going to bring in a piece of gorgeous grey, and it's going to go on there like that, okay? just like that. Okay, so we will stick this to here. making sure that all our sides are nice and even and it's straight. Then we're going to stick this to our base card. And our base card, I'm not sure whether I mentioned it or not, is crumb cake. Making sure our base card opens the right way for a start. Very good at putting them upside down and back the front. Just like that okay then what I've done is I've die cut um, a shape from a piece of shaded spruce and I think this shape is from the textured floral dies and I'm thinking we might just put that there right and then what I also did was I cut a shape a rectangle shape from basic white with the um, one of the dies from um, the timeless arrangements okay and it is this one here okie dokie so we're gonna stamp this in I think we might do it in gorgeous grape as well Let's have, a, let's have a little look in here, see what it looks like. So we'll do a gorgeous spray. Now 
and we're just going to use the hello there from um, Softly Sophisticated. Just make sure it's nice and straight. Oh, I could type on here too. Type, I could stamp on there too, couldn't I? Just to make sure it's nice and straight. Then what I would do is grab your shimmy. I can't find the, the shimmy that come with this. Don't know. Oh, here it is. Here, look. So I'm actually going to cut this in half. And that's it. Look at that. Magic. Okay. So that's our, um, that's our shimmy. Um, I'm actually going to cut it in half because I just find... Um, well, I'll probably cut it into quarters because I just find that um, small pieces um, work better for me. So that's it. And whoops. Then we're going to do this, making sure it's all nice and straight again. And smack bang in the middle. Just like that. And if it's if we think we need the um, the green one, I think I've done another one. Yeah, I have. Just in case, we can use that. So what we'll do first is we'll actually add a little bit of glue to our leaves. You could use mini glue dots if you wanted to, or you could use the um, adhesive sheets. I never seem to think to use them actually. But I think I've got to find them first. And that way it saves you applying adhesive to the back because it's already done. Now when I do pieces like this, I like to leave the tops hang loose and I just add a little bit to the bottom. Okay, just like that. And what we're going to do, we're just going to pop that maybe over about here, eh? And I might do a little bow there. So let's see how that goes. So we'll just grab a couple of um, dimensionals. Just two. Lining it up, making sure it's nice and straight. Actually, I might just put it here. That's nice and straight. I like this because it's got the grid lines on it too. And we've got our centimetres here and we've got our inches here. So I work both. So if you work in your centimetres, they're here. I suppose it depends whether you're right-handed or left-handed too. So then to finish it off, we're going to grab some of the um, purple shimmer purple fine shimmer dots or gems and we're going to add these so we might go for we might go for the lighter ones eh? I think the middle ones these are the fresh fresher I think they'll sort of get a bit lost one I'll put that one up there. So once you're happy with your placement, I will then press down. Just makes it easier. If you're not happy, it just makes it easier to move them. If you don't press them down straight away. That back later. so we don't lose it. And then to finish it off, I've got a couple of pieces of scrap DSP and we will we'll use both sides. We'll put one piece on our um, inside 
and we'll do one piece the opposite side for our envelope bag. So let's just do this. Now I'm thinking this piece will go on our envelope. I'll tell you why in a minute I think that. So just bear with me. Um, scissors. And then this piece is going to go on to the piece of basic white for the inside. Now I've done this side because we haven't got purple on purple. I wanted a bit of contrast. Well actually that's wrong isn't it because our base colour is crumb cake but that doesn't matter. But that's what I was thinking. Goes to show how much attention I paid. <laughs> so if your card was um, gorgeous grape and you didn't want it to be um, too purple inside, go for the opposite side. Okay. And that is our card for today, all finished. An easy peasy alternate sample of using these papers. Okay, so I'm going to show you the ones that Sharon and I did. So that's the papers, and then that's our card. So these are the ones we did in our live the other day. The link will be below um, to my live and I'll also have a link below for Sharon's slide too. So you can choose which ones you like. All you have to do is place a $50 order in our online shop or through me um, or Sharon and you will get three kits and you'll get two of each kit or you can have um, the scrapbook pages and you'll get two pages, okay? So that's one. That's two and that's three, okay? That's all using the product from um, the Perennial Lavender Collection. Okie dokie. And that's our card for today. So I'll have a link below to my online store and um, a link to Sharon's live and my live. Okay, thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Enjoy your day. See ya. Hooray.